All right, wave. Your passport? Okay. Okay, see you. Bye. <laughs> see you. <laughs> Togi, what do you smell? The horses? You smell the horses? <laughs> Alright guys, good evening. Welcome to Gage Park. We are here in our city in the downtown area with my dad, Daniel, getting into the festive spirit. With Ariel. With Ariel. Hey Ariel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they've uh, they've they created this uh, this area. That's City Hall back there. Yeah. So we are right in front of City Hall and uh, they put up the lights for the Christmas uh, holiday mm -hmm. and uh, we decided to come and take a walk yeah. and see what it was uh, all about. What yeah, did yeah. you guys think of the giant Christmas tree? Oh, well, it's yeah. huge, Impressive, it's huh? beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, it's a natural tree. Yeah. It's not something that it was uh, brought in just for the holidays and then they yeah. take it away. No, that one lives there. Over here between these uh, fences, we have the uh, outdoor uh, the skating rink. Skating uh, rink. Ice yeah. skating rink. Now there is uh, not any ice because the weather hasn't been that cold yet. Mm -hmm. One day yes, one day no. But as soon as the weather really turns and it stays uh, below uh, freezing, mm -hmm. that thing there becomes a skating rink yeah. and it's open to the public. And yeah. you can have hot chocolate when you get cold. Wow. So yeah. we'll have to come sometime once it's yeah, open. Yeah, I, co I come back for some hot you chocolate. Bring your skates. And what do you guys think of the sign over there? So this Canadian, sign. huh? Okay, is there hey. anything more hey. Canadian than. Hey. Hey. What do you think of it, eh? Hey. Hey. Huh? What do you hey. think about this, huh? <laughs> we need to explain this for the non Canadians. So basically, in Canada, at the end of almost every sentence, you can just add a little A. Yeah. Kind of like, I don't know, yeah. asking a little question. Like, maybe like, a, you know? You yeah. know? Okay. Like, you know, yeah, the like, Americans, you know? they do, you know? You know? Okay, you, here. You it's know what's eight? funny is most people don't do that, but every once in a while you find someone who uses every sentence with yeah. A. Yeah. And then you're like, oh wow, that is the stereotypical yeah. one. Yeah, you <laughs> cannot get any more Canadian than A. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. There. That's the one right there. Yeah. The wind is starting to pick up. It is getting icy cold. It's, it's getting really, really cold. I can't feel my fingers anymore. Yeah, so I think we're going to go home and have a nice uh, cup of uh, coffee or hot chocolate, something like that. We're retreating. Yeah, yes. we're retreating to the trenches and we'll see you in the next uh, video. It's yeah. all for now. While we're warming up. Yeah, <laughs> take care, bye. Oh man. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I am in full-on packing mode. Yes, you're traveling today. Yeah, I'm a little bit behind. I probably should have packed the night before. Uh, just typical procrastination, I suppose. Uh-huh. And um, yeah, at least, you know what? The funny thing today 
was a whole bunch of my masks had disappeared. And you know where they were? I've been wearing a whole, like different jackets to the grocery stores and they were in like all of my jackets pockets. I found like three of them. Well, I'm glad so you found your masks. Where been, are you going today? That's Tell my us. treasure hunt. Uh, today I'm going to Fredericton to see uh -huh. my parents. I'll be spending some, some time with them during the winter and I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm going to be doing a 14 day quarantine and uh, that's mandatory for anyone visiting. At the moment, only immediate family can, can go to New Brunswick. Mm -hmm. and so I, I, I slot into that category. And yeah, I'm excited about it. Looking forward to seeing Hobie as well. Mm -hmm. Have you yeah. finished packing already? I have not. I'm very behind. Let's as I see what's in here. Tupperware. Why yeah. is there Tupperware well, in your suitcase? My mom always brings baking. She very, sends baking? Yeah, she sends baking back with me. So uh -huh. it's kind of like a back and forth thing. I'm not bringing many clothes. I have quite a few clothes in Fredericton already. And uh, Want to show us the chocolates? Oh, sure. This is a, a gift from your Fancy mom. Fancy schmancy. Look at that. They're chocolates filled with liqueur. And a whole bunch of different kinds. Vodka, Remy Martin. Bourbon. Bourbon, Canadian Club. Wow. I hope your parents like it. Yeah. I think you're going to be indulging oh, a bit. I, I, I better be careful, huh? Yeah. Not, not to eat them before, before I arrive. What else? It doesn't look like you're taking that many clothes, does no, it? I haven't folded everything. I've just kind of thrown it in the suitcase. I'll do a final pack. Yeah, I'm not taking much because I do have clothes in Fredericton that I need to bring back here. And who forgot to do laundry? Both of us. <laughs> <laughs> you, normally, you normally do laundry, I do groceries, so... I'm bringing home a, a bag of, uh, of dirty clothes, which is slightly embarrassing, <laughs> but the truth. <laughs> also, I gave you a haircut. You did. That was an improvement Let's over see. the last time. Well, last time you were impatient and you just said, shave it. Now, the only, skill, it. The, the only skill left for you to learn is blending. I have yes. like a bit of a bowl cut going on. There's like a, a line <laughs> and then suddenly hair. <laughs> Next time if we can blend it a bit more, that, that's, that's, the, that's the last yeah. touches you need to learn. But you know, that was my second ever haircut for you. Yeah, you um, did a much better job this yeah, time. Yeah, and the barbers aren't open right now, so no. this is this is yeah, the best Yeah, otherwise option. I would have been arriving in full on Wolverine. So yeah. I, I, I did shave my beard and I cut my hair. So it's just a matter of getting to the airport. I, I wonder what it's going to be like. The last time I flew there, it was it was pretty empty. So I'm guessing maybe even more, maybe even more so this time around. So Alrighty. we'll find out. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. Toodles. Toodles. Togi. Who's leaving Togi? I don't like this, guys. He's the guardian of the house. I don't like this. I wonder if there's any snow in Fredericton. That's a really good question. There typically is, but I think they've had an unseasonably warm um, fall slash early winter. So it will be a surprise when I get there. You have your passport? You. Boarding pass? Yep. I think I'm good. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> to be early. No, it's good. It's good. We have a delay. Because of weather? It didn't say why, but I mean, I'd say that fog is probably why you're delayed. Yeah, can't see anything. Really it's just white. Wow, look how few people there are. Wow. Traveling in 2020. Even when you guys picked me up, it was busy. Uh, oh, good. Well, time to grab the stuff. Oh, there's hardly any vehicles here. Yeah. yeah. The last time I came to the airport, it was like it was like post-apocalyptic. There were so few people. It's so windy. I don't know if I can even hear you on this camera. Yeah. Sorry if you can't hear me. Uh, you don't at all. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> and I'll see you in a few weeks. <laughs> Love you. Be safe going home. Drive safely. You too. Bye. Okay. I nearly dropped the camera. Bye. Do you have a mask? Yeah, I think so. Your passport? Okay. Bye. Okay, see you. Bye. <laughs> see you. <laughs> the highway is normally a lot busier leaving the airport.
All right, guys, hello. A bit of a different video today. I'm going to be taking a cooking class online via Zoom. So that should be a lot of fun. So basically, to give you a bit of background, Sam and I work a lot with tourism boards throughout the year to promote their destinations, film videos. This year, one of the destinations we were planning to visit was Germany, but because of the pandemic and the second wave, that trip ended up getting canceled. But as a little holiday gift, I received this lovely box from the German tourism board and they invited me to take part in a cooking class. So today we're gonna be making German Christmas cookies. And yeah, they sent over this box. We have a recipe in here that we're going to be following along. All the ingredients are pre-measured, pre-packaged. Sam's not here, so my dad's gonna be helping me out with the baking. And yeah, he was super impressed that everything is you know, already assembled, measured, and he was just commenting on German efficiency and attention to detail, like even the egg, so it won't break. It came in this little plastic container. So yeah, we're excited to do a little cooking today. It's a bit of a snowy day, kind of gray outside. So this should be a fun activity. Sam's out in New Brunswick, as you've probably seen in the previous clip. And yeah, I'm just gonna log into Zoom now and we'll see who else is participating. So, catch you in a bit. So we are currently shaping the cookies. Uh, we're kind of making them look like little crescents, fat in the middle, kind of thin and pointed on the ends. Uh, I'm calling them little slugs. I think they resemble slugs. And then we just fold them into a little crescent shape. And yeah, we're just putting those on the tray. In they go. Good luck, cookies. Ta-ta. See you in a few minutes. Good work. Uh, if you have in the oven. Okay, so the cookies are ready out of the oven, coated in icing sugar. There you have them. I ended up recruiting my dad, so he helped me with the whole process. And we already ate half a tray. Yes, Look. We, we actually have. <laughs> they were so delicious. Easiest recipe that you could try for uh, cookies, mm -hmm. especially for these holiday seasons. You cannot oh. stop eating them. It just takes one and then it becomes like a one after the other one kind of one biters, right? Or two biters if you're a lady If you're a lady two biters, <laughs> but for men one biter, okay? With a nice cup of coffee uh -huh. or a hot chocolate and yeah, the gentleman was very helpful Yeah, it was very cool hearing his story So his name is Arndt and he works at a bakery in Bavaria and he was telling us this is a 10 generation family business they have been, he says that they have been in the same building for 350 years. Yeah. He was saying for 350 years in this house, the oven is never shut off. So imagine that 350 years baking cookies and pastries and breads and what a commitment that family, no? Yeah. Wow. You That's know? quite the legacy. If you ever end up traveling to Germany, we'll have to take you to that bakery then. I need to go there. I have to visit that, uh, that place. Yeah. For me, I like that type of history, you know? So yeah, we should try That's one it. on camera so you guys can see how they turned out. There's the cookie. We've already had a few, but I mean, yeah. one more on camera, why not? You know, you can do this because you're not on a diet, mm. but I'm, I'm breaking my diet today. Yeah, he's on a diet. Yeah. But honestly, wonderful recipe for the holidays. It's just yeah. that Christmas flavor. You can taste the hazelnuts. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's basically the main uh, the, the main, secret ingredient, the main flavor that uh -huh. you that you can taste. Well, that's it for the baking adventure. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. We hope you try this recipe because it's very good. 
Mm -hmm. And yeah, happy holidays. See yeah, you happy soon. holidays to everyone. See you in the next one. In the next one. Ciao. Ciao, Toki. Toro. All right, guys. Good afternoon. Time for a little family outing. We're with my sister, Ariel, in the passenger seat. No, in the driver's driver seat. seat. I'm the passenger. <laughs> and my dad, Daniel, he's in the back. And how are we? We're okay. We're, we're okay. Uh, we're on our way to see some uh, Christmas uh, lights at the airport. Yes. There is supposed to be this uh, display mm -hmm. at one of the uh, employee parking lot. Exactly. And uh, it's supposed to be a 1K uh, run through the parking lot with all the uh, Christmas lights and blah, 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 blah. blah. So, <laughs> so let's that's go what see we're what do. it's all about. Yeah, this is actually something new. I've never heard of this activity. They're calling it Polar Drive, and maybe this is the first winter they're doing it. Um, but basically, they've taken over the, the staff parking lot. Um, my no. sister used to park there. I used to park there. It's like five levels. It's all empty, so it's yeah. all plenty of space to do it. Yeah, since people aren't really traveling as much right now, I think they've tried to repurpose the staff parking lot. We're gonna be doing a one kilometer circuit where we get to see some Christmas lights. There's gonna be like a light tunnel, maybe a Santa Claus, Christmas trees. We'll see, it's meant to be a festive, family-friendly activity. And we're gonna turn on the radio, tune into a particular station, and they're gonna have Christmas music for us. So we're almost there, the three of us. So and, we're gonna uh, take you. The airport all empty. Look at the airport. Oh There's yeah, not it's one empty. Plane. Let's see. Let's turn this around. Ta-da! That, that area used to be full of planes. That's Toronto Airport. Yeah, I I don't see a single plane it's taking off right lineup. now. Yeah, usually there there used to be a lineup of planes on this particular runway whenever we drove past. Um, oh, there's one coming in for a landing. Oh, there you one. go. Nice little lineup of vehicles. Getting ready for the polar adventure. Here we go. Value Park Garage. Do you miss driving here every morning? Ah, oh, no. At 4 a.m. 4 in the morning? No. <laughs> she does not miss it. Do you miss the airport? Working here and seeing my friends, yeah. Yes. That I do miss, but drive the drive here. The drive here. Waking yeah. up at 3.30, no way.
Oh, uh, I want that car. Oh yeah, well get in line. You can't have it. <laughs> Hello. It is the next day. I am back in the car with my sister. Again. <laughs> Ariel. All bundled up. Um, we're going to go hiking with my parents and Togo in the woods. But first, we realized we never really talked about the polar drive yesterday, what the experience was like, our thoughts. Why Why were we so rushed, Ariel, on the way out? What's happened? Or is it too much information? <laughs> too much emotion. <laughs> too much emotion. <laughs> and I needed a bathroom. We Stomach were stuck problems. in the lineup. Stomach problems. <laughs> so the experience was really cool but there is a lot of waiting around, which surprised me. Like it kind yeah. of reminded me of being stuck in traffic, but with really pretty lights and really pretty Christmas along, decorations. A busy drive-through. A busy drive-through. Like yeah. You move and you stop. You yeah. move an inch, then you stop. Yeah. But then again, maybe it's just the time of day that we went. Like we went after dark, so maybe more people go in the evening. But it was still really fun because in a way, since you're driving so slowly, you really get to admire all the decorations and the Christmas trees and the reindeer. And it was also really cool that there was a Santa Claus at the end of one of the levels so kids could like roll down their window and talk to Santa. So I think that's part of the reason why one of the two reasons the drive because, was a bit yeah, slow. A bit traffic. Yeah, and then of course we had the Grinch, which was really funny. My dad actually rolled down his window so he could talk to the Grinch. Oh man. Yeah, whoever did the Grinch. Great, great acting. Job. Great acting. Great yes, acting. for sure. And the price was 55 Canadian dollars plus tax, and that's per vehicle, not per person. So if you have a minivan and you can load like seven or eight friends just or load family it up members, with people, many people, just load them yeah, up. <laughs> that's that's good value right there. Yeah. So I would definitely recommend it for yeah. families with young children, like if you want to do something something memorable because it is a unique experience right so i would say it's worth doing we had a good time um but yes we needed to get back to the bathroom <laughs> no bathrooms on site just so you know yeah, go to the bathroom <laughs> before you go <sighs> and anyways now we are driving to our local forest it's like a small a forest small conservation area. a conservation area it's like a wooded area and we like to bring togo here so he can feel like a wolf um it's a cold day um this morning it was minus 18 with the wind chill i haven't checked again um so still we've cold. bundled up still cold yeah but togo wanted to go out so yeah, we're taking the whole family out on a little hiking adventure and we'll film a little bit of it and share what it's like. So yeah, that's the update. Also today I'm wearing glasses just to block the wind. This is not <laughs> a fashion statement today. It's literally just to block the wind so I can open my eyes and see where I'm walking. And also you're getting the no makeup version of Audrey today. So there's that, okay? So see you later. Sweater Togo. Alright guys, I'm showing you my face to really convey the cold we are feeling right now. The cold! There's the family in the back. Oh, everyone's bundled up. There we are. But yeah, my face is like pink, pinkish red. That is not normal. And we really bundled up. I'm wearing two pairs of leggings. One of them is a fleece, um, multiple layers, mittens, hat, scarf. Oh, 
this is winter in Canada. Actually, it's not, it's not even winter yet because it's not December 21st. This is fall, guys. Autumn in Canada. Ariel, come show us your face because I think you're even more pink than I am. <laughs> I can't tell if like, my nose is running. <laughs> I know, I can't tell if my nose is running either. We may have snotsicles, but look at her Can cheeks. Show us your little cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> snotsicles? None yet, none yet. Togi! What do you smell? The horses? You smell the horses? <laughs> oh. We've been seeing some hooves, hoof prints on the ground. There's a horse riding ranch not too far from here. Togi, did you find a branch you like, Togi? Oh, no, everyone's leaving. I have to be in front, guys. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Trying to steal a stick from my dad. That's Togo right there. Playtime! It's playtime, guys! Oh, there he goes. That's no, the one you like? Heavy. Too big? Too heavy? Find another! Find another, Togi! Ah, Togi, kisses. So, what's that, guys? Is that a feather? What? Where's the bird? Oh. 